Hello everyone and welcome to a new stream. Today is the great day for Ambus War because they released finally the second the second demo, the second tech demo. And this is this is not the pre-alpha, this is the alpha playtest. You know, the previous year I was playing the pre-alpha playtest. This was exclusively for holders of the badges and also LAN, LAN NFTs. But this time it's public, it's the public alpha playtest of Ambus War and everyone that registers and also confirms the email can play freely to this new demo of Ambus War. So I was already registered from the last year, from previous year I mean, 2022 and guys i'm so excited so i'm right now in the queue because that's the only problem right now that if you want to play ambassador you need to wait <laughs> and i started the queue i was uh, already joining the queue uh let's say 250 something positions before uh, starting the stream so guys let's jump there so i can show you what i mean let's go to the Q or to the screen of Ambus War, but you can see there I'm right now in the position 216. And well, I tried to, to start this before I was uh, starting the stream, so to jump a little and skip a little of time to save a little of time, I mean, because uh, I started at 500, um, 10 or 20 something, so more or less half past, uh, let's say. 30 minutes so guys this means that if you want to play at this specific time right now in let's say utc time or gmt depending where you are but gmt zero it's 9 46 yep 46 um pm and this means that if you want to play at this time you will need to wait one hour or so more or less also today is the first day but tomorrow is the last day <laughs> yeah because there are only two days to play ember sword so today 18th and tomorrow 19th you know guys today i will be playing in english but tomorrow i had the idea to play in spanish to see as an experiment how it is for me if there are people who are following me in Spanish and they want to also learn about new games like Ember Sword or maybe in the future also Big Time or even Auto Ring. So yeah, I'm trying to think about also in parallel to make streams and videos, well, content uh, in Spanish as well. But always I will focus on English because this is the way uh, how I started in, with Big Time. And always, I mean, I know that my English is not perfect, but this is the way how I started and I want to continue. But yeah, this is not the, the important thing. Well, the important thing is that tomorrow I will be streaming a game, but in Spanish. And I don't know if for any reason today we don't have enough time to take everything. I will try to maybe tomorrow uh, I will start early uh, streaming in Spanish. But if I don't have enough time today in English, I will continue tomorrow in English as well. So my idea, it was to make a stream today, try to have some time to make a gameplay review and try to upload it tomorrow or past tomorrow. But we will see guys, we will see. Because I'm not sure if I will have enough time, to be honest. Yeah, you know, we have five uh, quest lines to follow, five quest lines. And for example, one of them, it's fighting with enemies to to get something. I don't know, is we need to fight with bandits. So this is probably for me, at least it's the most interesting one because uh, when, well, in the previous, in the previous tech demo, the previous play test, it was a pre-alpha. And there guys, if you want to check the channel of Meta Brands, the YouTube channel of Meta Brands, because when I was uh, trained this game by then, one year ago, and I was uh, creating the gameplay review video, I did it for Meta Brands. I mean, I had this, I didn't have a channel yet by then, and I created the video there and I uploaded it to this, to this channel for Meta Brands. And yeah, it was interesting because it was possible to visit a small map there, a little town and also some uh, locations around the, the the town but nothing really interesting i mean from uh i mean obviously it was a pre-alpha so everything was interesting even not many things there were they were very interesting but you were able to collect some things level up some skills 
and gather some flowers and other resources but not so many more things but now we will be able to craft things uh, well to many many items we will be able to craft oh uh, indeed there is a quest to craft so it will be very interesting to check what exactly do we need to do in order to to craft things and complete the quest if it's possible also these bandits quests well let me we'll still need to wait 205 positions so <laughs> let's let's check guys um the web browser because i prepare uh the twitter of embassor because i know that they were sharing many things there i didn't take too many gameplays from other players because i i want to to well to feel to to live for the very first time this alpha playtest by myself you know i'm obviously tomorrow in spanish this won't be the case i will already know how many things will work but at least today in English, I want to experience this. So let me first of all tweet about the stream because I didn't do it in, on Twitter. And just in case anyone wants to join, there we go. And I didn't tag Embersol. Boom. Anyway, as you can see here, yeah, there we go. The Twitter of Embersol. I will be checking all the time the, the queue because. Oh, 159! 50 positions in just a blink of an eye. Incredible, incredible. I mean, that was fast. So maybe, guys, we need to jump quickly to the to the game. Well, anyway, by the way, when you are enjoying the queue, there is a background music uh, playing some jazz music. So I was just muting because I prefer this kind of epic music that I'm playing now from Spotify. But anyway and what else oh a giveaway of land great some promotional videos and i know that there were some there was a screenshot about the quest and that's what i'm looking for ah there we go i was sharing this already some days ago when i was sharing some news about other games and i was talking about the quest and as i told you guys there are five quest quest lines crafting expedition it's about crafting yeah obviously the capital uh, this is where probably we are going to start. Uh, I mean, we will start in the capital, so I don't know if it's a quest, a story, or something like that. Talking about, well, talking with the NPCs and so on. We will see. I have no idea. The treasure hand, um, well, like I said, we'll be trying to find things over the map. So, will be interesting. The bandit thread, that's the one that I was talking about, about the combat. So this will be very interesting. I'm so, so, so excited for this because in the pre-alpha play test, it wasn't possible to, to fight. Only you were able to uh, keep some items, uh, an armor, a shield. I uh, don't remember if a sword, honestly, I don't think so. I don't remember a sword, but yeah, a helmet, a, a chest piece, legs, the shield. And that was all as far as I remember. But now we finally will be able to fight. And I saw, this is a little spoiler, but I saw someone, for example, casting a spell, a magic spell. Other guys, they were jumping over the sky and falling into the ground and boom, smashing there, the enemies and so on. So it will be very, very, very exciting. So, and the last one, it's the arena. This is the PP, a PPP quest. So PVP quest. That's so... Let me check, guys, the audio to see that everything works fine for me. Yeah, that's my voice. <laughs> Great. So, I don't know, guys, five quests. I don't know if we will have enough time because, as probably you know, there are only 30 minutes to test to play the game. So, that's why if you are, for example, we are playing now 30 minutes and we finish this time, the time uh, runs out and we try to join again the queue, I don't know, but probably if we need to wait one more hour, I don't know if it will be possible. Obviously, I will try it. I will try it, but no promises on this. No guarantees. But anyway, this is about the quest. I'm so excited about this because also in the pre-alpha playtest, I remember there were not really uh, any kind of quest system. It was simply... Uh, openly try to craft whatever you want try to explore up to the limits that you want and try to gather 
collect whatever you want but there was nothing really uh, try to follow this and the only thing that we could say that there was a kind of tracking system it was about the skill levels you were able to uh, level up the your skills when gathering when mining and i guess it also in crafting something like that but everything changed now everything changed and we will see guys that now for example i saw this in the videos from Embassor, but also from other players there are so many notifications in the screen we will see when we enter a city also when we level up something and will be very interesting still the messages about notifications like something happened or you collect this or you did well something happened in the combat or whatever it's still a very simple text it's uh, just a text in the screen nothing special but there are other notifications very very interesting and i'm so excited for, to see this because i love notifications i mean <laughs> how they look and how they are shared with the user so it's part of the user experience so important guys and we will see and obviously i will enable the the audio it's just right now that i want i don't want to play jazz music because uh, well no i prefer this IP music and I, I don't know if there will be music in the game, honestly. I know that there are uh, special effects, if, well, special effects sounds, but I don't know. So we will see. And I don't know what else I could share, guys. Oh, someone playing with a stream deck. Steam deck. Steam deck. Not the stream deck, it's what I'm using for the stream. A Steam deck. So cool, so cool. By the way, probably you saw, but I'm using, guys, a new setup. You can see here my microphone. I was so, so exhausted, so tired to use a very, <laughs> well, a very basic setup for my microphone. It was uh, just putting at the top of some boxes and so on. And now I have something more professional. So it's easier for me. Very, very, uh, well user-friendly to, to use the microphone in this way and also I will be able to use the chair in a more comfortable way but yeah that's about my setup and again let's check something else about their Twitter mm -hmm. there are some giveaways that's important we saw before the giveaway for the land plots but also if you give some feedback, let me let me read. Your feedback matters. Yeah, if you give, well, share some feedback with uh, Embassor in the social uh, networks, like Twitter, I guess it is, uh, you can win some uh, Embassor marks. So that's very interesting. I don't know if you like guys, but I love this kind of, of goodies. So it will be, will be so nice to participate. I will do it, absolutely. And we'll try to get something. I mean, a hoodie will be so nice, but who knows? And what else? And how to get the land? Well, let me take the queue, because that's probably the most important thing. Oh, 100! 100, guys, it's going down so fast. Well, so fast. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, so fast. Maybe it's because people just get so uh, boring more and they just leave the, the queue. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, if you have been waiting like... 40 minutes it's just a little more so a little more and you will be able to, to join the game so i was talking about the land plots and um, yeah very very soon we will start playing so what about the land plots become a loan owner share your alpha moments yep is something funny oh okay it can be an like a screenshot and also a video oh set a photo anything you think works best for your moment nice so very easy to to participate obviously i don't know how many land plots there are i guess that they announced this in on discord but don't remember anyway guys we are so close to start playing well 95 okay now it's not so fast but anyway um let me see let me see yeah i have to say that there are so many good improvements on the visual aspect, uh, the UI, also the graphics, the assets, the style. Well, the style is the same one like uh, we were playing one year ago, but it's much 
well, everything is improved. And I really love how, how this game looks like. Seriously. Yeah, I have a... What I have in, in Embers 4? I have a gold badge that I got one year ago. Yep. When it was possible, it was a... The, the pre-sale, whatever it was, I don't remember if it was a normal sale or a pre-sale, but yeah, I was participating and getting one, and also some lands. I have uh, ten regular lands and also one settlement. And something that we will see, guys. <clears throat> sorry, it's about one settlement. Well, one, no, m more than one, but we will see many settlements in the map because it's a very extensive map uh, open you can go there where, wherever you want you want but yeah it's a huge map in theory there are no limits as far as i read but we will we'll try to check i mean we will focus on the quest but if it's possible we will try to go as far as we can but yeah that's so exciting and i saw some players checking settlements when you enter one settlement you have a dialogue a notification there in the screen where you see that that's a settlement so that's the the, the let's say the most special kind of plot plan that i have i mean there are for example cities and capitals okay if i'm not wrong it was regular settlement it was city and capital. Uh, don't trust me 100% because I don't remember exactly. I don't know if it was capital and then city or city and then capital, the biggest one. But yeah, that's that's so nice. And obviously, uh, for example, I remember that the city, it was in orange color and the capital, if I'm not wrong, it was red, the best one. So that's very expensive, guys. But in theory, it's where all the economy, well, the main economy will happen in the future. In the, I mean, inside the game, where everyone will be there uh, meeting all together, spending the money, crafting, I don't know, whatever they do, it will happen in the capital. So that's why it's so important. Yeah. But obviously, if you have a settlement like me, you will be able to place there a small shop or you can place other things like a small clan guild i mean a, a small building for the for a guild for your guild or whatever and many other things but yeah i mean it's still a small one but you can at least place something there and for the regular plots it's just a simple land there where maybe there will be some enemies mobs whatever you can kill or even just i don't know maybe flowers or something that you can collect and this will be an active economy guys so every land plots count so right now we are in 71 position i mean i don't know how many people how many streamers they are sharing in the queue i mean it's part of the experience <laughs> i'm not going to say it's so exciting but yeah it's part of the experience so that's how i remember that for the pre-alpha one year ago there was also another queue if you were playing by then you will know what i mean but if not it was more or less similar obviously there were not so many people like now because i was in the position 520 or something like that but by then there were no more than 200 people when i joined the the queue one year ago it was like between 100 or 100 and 200 more or less but now there are many 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 more people i don't know if it's because ambassador they did a great marketing campaign i don't know if it's because people really see the value and how the progress of the game and they really understand what this game means in the for the future of blockchain gaming and i don't know guys what it is but now there are a lot of people interested on on Ember 4 and that's great yeah i i discovered this game two years ago two years ago when there was no uh a play a pre-alpha neither a alpha, nothing there was nothing about Ember 4 only a few uh concepts also some animations small animations but nothing else and yeah i was so interested in this game mm. And I was following the game until finally, the last year, the pre-alpha playtest started. And that was so exciting. So exciting. Seriously, guys. 
if you are able to watch my my video from one year ago you will see how how excited i was playing the game and it was a simple pre-alpha nothing else nothing else i mean as i said before it was only running over the map collecting some stuff and well, just exploring but not much more also see well trying to go together with other players but it was a little difficult because there was a lot of lag by then so i hope that the experience is better now we will see and only 50 positions oh my goodness i mean wow 50 positions and this i don't know how much time ha have i been spending now let's see wow almost one hour guys so my theory is right at this time right now here in spain it's 12 12 am but for utc or gmt uh plus zero i mean the, the standard one um it's 10 10 pm so at this time more or less you will still find a lot of people trying to play remember it's the game is only available today 18th and tomorrow 19th after this uh the ms4 team will will stop the, the game i mean the website will be still available but not being able to play and probably if you try to enter the same url for the game game.embersword.com you will be redirected to the home page obviously so if you want to try the game i mean it's fine if you want to watch the streamers like me and other players but if you want to try the game you only need to register your account then uh, confirm the, the email that you're going to receive because it's important to register and so com uh, verify, confirm your email, your account email, and then you will be able to start playing the game for free. It's just a test for you and the team of Ember Sword, and that's all. I mean, it's so easy, it's so easy to, to start playing. And yeah, depending what time you decide to start playing, between today and tomorrow, you will have more players in the queue or less. But at this time, it looks like everyone in, in Europe is... Uh, well, finished the, the work <laughs> for the day and they started playing like me. So, yeah. Uh, I've been waiting the whole day in my day job, waiting for this moment to play after one year because we were playing the pre-alpha on April of 2022. One year ago, more or less exactly. But finally, 35 positions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I know that there are many people uh, streaming about, not now, I don't know how many people right now, but guys, I know that many people were streaming and people that I'm following from other games, for example, from Sandbox, I know that the PC and X was streaming this and I don't know, also other uh, member, well, team members from other ring and so on. Yeah, many people are interested in MS War. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And by the way, talking about the sandbox, I I have my lands in the sandbox just just next to the Embersword lands. I mean, Embersword has uh, some lands there in the sandbox, and I'm just next to them. I'm a neighborhood of of Embersword there. So, I mean, when I was participating in the pre-sale of uh, sandbox, I already knew about Embersword, and I was so excited to get my lands close to them. And yeah, I did it. So, position twenty nine. Let's go. So let's see if there is anything else in the Twitter of Embersword. Yeah, you can uh, you can see here what I said. If you register and verify your account, you can start playing the the alpha playtest. Mm -hmm. There were also some giveaways for a uh, Discord Nitro boost. I mean, they were uh, rewarding three or five players who were uh, asking some good questions and the questions were selected as the winners. But yeah, I guess that nothing else. And guys, we are so close. We are so close. Ah, this is the map. The map for the game. Let me see the queue. 26. Okay, we have still a little of time. This is the map for the game. And... I have... Okay, we are going to start here in the capital. This is why one of the quest lines it's called the capital. So probably everything will happen here in this area. Okay, this is the capital. And we can explore the forest, deep forest and autumn forest. Okay, many forests around. 
the meal width the meal width will look similar to the one that we were testing uh one year ago in the pre-alpha i guess 22 oh my goodness and at the south we have the grasslands here there is another maybe this is a city okay this is the capital and as i told you it's probably the most it's the most important uh land here in embassy war and probably this is a city i know um uh, yeah a city it's it's composed by uh four lands i guess as one a settlement is one land the same like a regular a standard land but a city it's it's made by uh, four lands in the capital i don't remember if it was nine or or even more than that 16 i don't remember i guess it was nine oh my goodness and then we have the mountains wow i am with more cities two cities oh this is probably a settlement this is a capital this is a city a city well two cities in the mountains and then we have some little settlements i guess it will be these little things from here i don't know if you can see my cursor yeah you can see this is i guess a settlement 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 city and capital guys oh we are so close so i'm so excited because we will finally be able to see obviously this is an early version this is a pre uh, an alpha a public alpha but obviously this is not the probably the last the final design for cities uh, settlements and so on but will be the first time trying to check how the settlements for example i have a settlement by the way how the settlements look like in the game and also cities i mean you need a lot of money if you want to get the city but obviously that's so interesting if you want to participate actively in the economy of number four. Ooh, oh number seven number seven guys so that's basically about the map i will keep this this tab open with this map just in case we need it i know that you can open the map inside the game but okay okay guys this is this is happening i'm going to stop the music to see if there is music inside the game and unmute and that's the jazz music that I was talking about before. Uh, I wanted to play the epic music. Positioning Q1. Wow, oh, there we go. It's instantly, instantly. Okay, guys, so let's start playing. You can see my health bar. It's recovering. Nice. And I have some skills. I wonder if they are random. So. Oh, look at this. Number one. Ah, I need to press one. I mean the skill, and then ah, and I have it has a cooldown. Nice. So if I press one, I need to click again, and then into the direction. It's not really a, a shield. It's an attack. Maybe with the shield, because uh, Embassor was asking in the Discord a long time ago about different animations for their attacks, and I remember this was one, I guess. Also, people talking in the chat. Nice. And what else? Number two. It's maybe spinning. A will win. Like in big time. Yeah. Will win. Nice. And you can move while you are uh, using this skill. So great. And oh, number three will be probably jumping and smashing. It's oh. Let's see. There we go. Boom. Wow. It was a little laggy, but so nice. So nice. And number four. I have. It's a heart, I guess. I don't know i saw some players uh having in number four uh a spell like a magician so oh i don't know but it has a huge cooldown 35 okay guys let's just start this is the capital quest so let's just start with this one and we can go later and explore far away but with right click knock i need to use my left click and then the capital quest starts so forest first Kill eight cloud bots in the forest, then return to Leo. Okay, I don't know if this is really the capital quest. Okay, I started the quest. You can also abandon, quit the quest, but we want this. We want zero gold and 400 experience. So let's go to the forest. And I wonder. I, oh, there is a huge question mark. I wonder if there are any kind of guide to know where we, do we need to go. So if I press M. Is this the... Okay, I have no idea what this. What the hell is this? 
Okay, this looks like a shell, so maybe it's a, a settlement or, or a city. And we need to go to the forest. And let's check the other top. The forest, it's at the left side, guys. Left side. Good. Oh. So, yeah. The map is a little, uh, let's say, rotated. So, we are more or less already in the forest oh by the way no we are we didn't spawn in the capital we are outside from the capital we are in the forest so maybe this is one of the quests for the forest obviously yeah so for the capital we should try to go over this bridge and enter the capital to get the quest from there but by now let's try to complete this quest and stop talking let's play so uh i'm not able to exit the map why? Um. Okay, now everything is stopped. Um. No sound. Nothing. Ooh. Dr. Bram. Dr. Bram. Oh no. What what happened, Dr. Ah, by the way, thank you for the follow, man. What happened, Bram? Maybe I did something wrong? <laughs> oh my goodness, don't tell me. Don't tell me that there is an issue when you switch you you change the tab and nothing happens. I mean the game stacks and gets frozen. Well. Yeah, it looks like I did something wrong. Guys, very important. <laughs> don't If you are playing, just enjoy the game and don't do anything else. So it looks like... If I press the full screen, no. The game just got frozen. So now if I refresh the website, I will join the queue again. And... Yep. Ah, let me see. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm getting a lot of errors by the from there. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Yeah. Playtest goes from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Server might have shut down. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Oh my goodness. I'm so, so lucky. I don't know. Oh, that's a good point, man. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So, goes from Tayan. Well, in theory, test. Hmm. I guess it should be a little. Oh, let me let me check on this score. Yeah, that's a good point because you can try, of course. Yep. Let me let me see. I will check the Ambassador score group. Very important, guys. If you didn't join the MS4 server, Discord server, you need to do so. And let me check. I was in queue for two hours and just got in and poof. <laughs> so I'm not the only one, guys. I'm not the only one. Uh, well, was this not said before? Uh, the test has concluded for today as of. 16 minutes ago oh my goodness <laughs> okay thank you ram for for uh hi bram ban dr ban thank you thank you so much for for the feedback you were right man the the play test concluded 16 minutes ago so well at least guys we were able to see uh, a little of the game a little test the skills and also <laughs> Oh my goodness! What the what the hell? And also, ah, six mate. Ah, no problem, no problem. I mean, yeah. In the pre-alpha, I remember one year ago, uh, I was able to play the first day, but uh, I don't know what happened uh, because the pre-alpha was during th three days, and I don't know what happened. But the third day, the game d never was uh, working. I mean, they stopped the play test by the second day or something like that. So, I mean. This is an alpha, the one year ago it was a pre-alpha, and we are here to help the team and also to tell you and test the game, but I mean, that's all, I mean, it's fine. We are here to help and test things, so all good. Hey, 
you got five ten minutes for free yeah gotta be a bit earlier tomorrow yeah will do will do i mean i will keep this in mind and guys i'm going to tomorrow to play first in english and i will try to play more or less let's say uh or 5 uh p.m utc gmt you know guys the the standard time i will start playing in english and later and later i will be playing in spanish because that's my native language and i wanted to test how things work in spanish and if the community also went to to watch a little of embrosor in spanish so yeah tomorrow will be an intensive intensive uh stream i don't know how many times i will be i how many hours i will be playing i mean i will be playing one time in english probably i will join the queue and try to play a second time i will have dinner tomorrow after playing in english rest a little and then continue playing in spanish so we will try to do our best and well guys i'm so sorry that for today i'm not able to share anything else about ember sword but yeah as <laughs> Dr. Ban says, uh, at least we were able to see 5-10 minutes of the gameplay. I mean, it's not much, but hey, it's something. It's much more than other, game, uh, other players that were in the queue, still in the queue. They were unable to, to play the game at least even 5 minutes. So that's all. Hey, hey, looking forward. And may the queue God be with you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. See you tomorrow. So, yeah that's all guys i'm so sorry so uh i'm so sorry but yeah nothing else for today so enjoy your time be ready and tomorrow will be an intensive day for ember sword i will be playing minimum two times in english and if i can one two times in spanish later after dinner so yep and let me see i don't know um the game <laughs> It's curious because I, I thought that I did something wrong here in the in the map by changing the tab, you know, guys. Because I had this other tab here open with the map. Really useful. I will keep this for tomorrow. I mean, if the game doesn't crash, it will be very useful to keep this map here. Because as you saw, the map... Well, you can still see the map there. I will, I will take a screenshot, by the way. I will take uh, a screenshot. Let's do it. Just for fun. But as you can see... Uh, let me see yeah full screen as you can see the map is rotated so it's it's useful we start here i mean just to make a little longer this stream and talk a little more about ambassador i mean i don't have anything else to share with you guys right now but we started here as you can see in this uh city because this is a city you can see here leo so the npc that uh we got the first quest it's leo i guess let me check. Yeah, yeah, looks like Leo. Yeah, because you can see here the question mark is at this point, and it's Leo. So we got the quest from Leo, and yeah, we are in this city. So this is a city, the capital. So we needed to go to the forest. So probably will be this area from here, and we needed to kill eight, whatever. I don't remember the name. <laughs> So, I mean, with this weird name in English, I don't remember, but it was, we needed to kill eight enemies, eight mobs, eight creatures, and probably will be in this area, or maybe even close to the, to the city, something like this, where the S and T letters are there for forest. And, yeah, so what I was expecting also, guys, it was, uh, let's say, some kind of indication in the map telling me that where I needed to go in order to complete the quest. I don't know if maybe it's this kind of shield or whatever it is. I mean, it looks like a shield. I mean, it's rotated. It looks like the whole map is rotated. But yeah, it's this shield icon here on the right side. I don't know if this is uh, part of the quest or it means anything else. But obviously, I, have, I don't have access to get the text, the, the, the caption text out this. So any, anyway, CloudBots. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Van, about the CloudBots. Cloud is like this. It's, I mean, I can say the, the, the word in Spanish, but yeah, Cloud, it's this, <laughs> like this. And bots, bots, CloudBots. I don't know CloudBots. 
robots robots with claws anyway <laughs> so that's interesting so we needed to kill this kind of mob for the quest oh another follow like robots oh interesting so it's true it's something like a robot nice by the way veteran veteran oplite thank you for the follow man and yeah probably you already saw but i don't have much more to share about ember sword i was just starting to play taking the map well getting the first quest with leo and starting to play and try well i needed to go to the forest and start killing cloud bots <laughs> but nope uh the i mean the game started the, the time to play finished for everyone not only me for everyone and the game just froze so that's that's fine you will recognize them when you see them obviously i mean if it's a robot <laughs> i mean in this map will be easy to 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 detect which which are this kind of mob so interesting man <laughs> so nice nice so that's the first quest from leo as you can see here and bro i don't know if every npc here in the map has a quest for us i'm not sure but yeah just start with leo maybe if yeah because i didn't finish this quest tomorrow i will start with this one as well and then later i don't know we will try to to follow the quest uh, the quest line and see which are the the next quest but if not we could try to go to the capital and start the quest and then not 100 percent sure but pretty sure that will be this rashi by the way rashi was the person i mean i guess it was the first or the second uh let's say npc or or character inside the the wall of ember sword to be adopted in in the discord server to have a role there and i guess that rashi is the character or the npc to announce things if i'm not if i'm not wrong yeah maybe i mean i'm not a, an expert of this war but i try to follow every week almost every day on the announcements and new things yeah and also participating in their discord group with yeah, the, the the polls and things like that but I will be honest, I'm not a, uh, an expert of this world, but I try to follow the best that I could. And yeah, Rashi, I guess that's the, that's the one. Yeah, he rocks. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Nice. So that's the the, the NPC, the character in the wall of Ember Sword, uh, sharing announcements and, well, I don't know if <laughs> sharing newspapers or whatever, but yeah, she she's always sharing this kind of things. So for the first time, we will be able to meet her inside the game because in the pre-alpha she wasn't included yet i mean she, well she was created uh, or at least she had well she well, the, the team gave her a name and also an avatar and so on between the the pre-alpha and this alpha playtest so yeah this probably why they never include brashi or any other npc there like this one yeah, indeed i i don't remember I would say that there was no NPCs in the pre-alpha. There were buildings, there were uh, there were ducks. You were able to find ducks in the in the beach, and all the many things, resources and and plants and rocks and so on, and runes. But there were no NPCs as far as, as far as I remember, at least to talk with. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's fine. So we have many, many NPCs around the map. I mean, here in the mountains, it's a huge map. It's a huge area, I mean, huge region. But there is only one NPC. I'm not able to read Tori or Toki. I'm not sure about the name, but there is only one. And this NPC is in a settlement, if I'm not wrong, because the, the size of the kind of land, it's a settlement and yeah so nice so nice i mean it's a huge map and i don't know what kind of enemies we will find here but in theory it should be something really really difficult but anyway guys uh i will i will love to keep talking and sharing things but nothing else by now nothing else so i'm so happy let me change the scene and 
sadly but happily at the same time sadly because uh i would love to to share more time with you guys and play the, t the game and share more things about embers 4 but also as i said and also dr van said uh so happy because at least we were able to enter the game i mean if it was only five ten minutes well it was more five minutes or something like that at least we tried all the skills that we got you know the the, the shield attack also the will win what else the smash attack jumping over the air and smashing into the into the ground and the four attack it was like uh, i don't know it was a, an stampede or something like that so i mean i still don't know what i did with this skill but at least we were able to test this also it was nice to see that many people it was around us uh, i mean there was no I would say there was no luck. I will watch again my own stream because I don't remember. I would say that everything was working smoothly compared to the pre-alpha. It was so nice. Take the other three weapons tomorrow. Oh, I will do. I will do. I had no time. <laughs> I saw the... I tested the skills only. Get the, uh, Got the first quest. And that was all. Taking the map to, to know where I needed to go. But that was all. But yeah, tomorrow I will take the three weapons. Wow. Uh a sword an axe and uh, what else a uh, one maybe to to cast the spells i don't know but yeah this all of this will be tomorrow but for today at least we take it something out the game so great i mean i was excited the whole day excited i was working in my day job and all the time thinking about embersor okay i need to go to to go back to my home and start playing i need to do it i need to do it and at the end <laughs> I thought that I will had the, the whole night to play, honestly. But anyway, things are like they are. So at least, guys, we have one more day tomorrow to play Embers War 19th. So again, I will start early. Obviously, I need to work the, the whole morning, also midday. So when I'm back home, I will start playing and streaming. So tomorrow will be a long, long evening. And if I can... I will dinner later, maybe. I don't know. I, w I had the plan to play first in English, have dinner, and then play in Spanish. But we will see, guys, because I would love to at least complete everything there if it's possible. Sounds good, mate. Have a good one. Thank you, Dr. Van. Thank you for the feedback, by the way. You were right. The game was frozen, so... Right. And, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I know that maybe some some of you just join now the the stream, but for tomorrow, guys, if you want to watch me uh, playing Ember Sword tomorrow in English or also in Spanish later, you can follow me. And tomorrow I will be playing the whole evening. I mean, as far as I get in, into my home, I will start playing Ember Sword. Well, me and many more people, I guess. But yeah, I will be playing almost almost. For the first time this alpha playtest of Ambers War. So again guys, thank you so much and hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night, have a good day, depending on where you are. Bye bye. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to tap on the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to stay tuned for more videos. See you next time!